fast, I can't stop. Wiping it down with the paint hot. Left hand on the wheel. I'm closing the top on the raindrop. I'm keeping the game in the headlock. When throwing and blinding my dreadlock. In the end zone with the mad dot. One phone call, get it dead stop. I feel like I own the season. Say one thing, just give me a reason. Knowing you're mad, I'm undefeated. Top dog, making it even. Oh, I had to get back up. Back up. I had to get back up. Yeah, I can't take no off. You better call back up. First open in 2002, there's a look inside Ford Field here in downtown Detroit, the Motor City. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it, this crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Atlanta Falcons and the Detroit Lions. Gets fielded in the end zone. And all that worked, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. Former Terrapin, this is Ty Johnson. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. Well, I think that's what they're going to need to do here in the first half. You've got to take some pressure off of this young quarterback, and no better way to do it than to establish the running game early. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. From the gun, a run for Johnson. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. The tally there, minus two yards, brings up third down. He has elite instincts from his linebacker spot. He's able to diagnose the run and flies in like a missile to stop that one behind the line of scrimmage. And they'll look to avoid an early three and out here on third and four. Operating from the gun, Stanford into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. It's Desmond Trufant, and this one will be returned to right around the 38-yard line. When the rookie QB gets his first touchdown pass, that's one you put in the trophy case. First career interception, that's going to be one he wants to forget. Yeah, and he's not going to go ask for the football, right? No. Yeah, yeah, you can keep that one. The key for him, what does he learn from it? When he watches the tape, does he have an answer right now where he already understands what mistake he made? That's what the coaches are going to want to know, and that's what they'll grill him on and see how he grows from it. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They'll run for the first time with Devontae Freeman. Takes this to the 32, maybe the 31, defensively rallying to the ball after the nice move. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. At the Lions, 32-yard line.
The last run got six. Now second and four. They run. Devontae Freeman. Devontae Freeman. They're not going to get him. Touchdown, Falcons. Devontae Freeman. 32 yards as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. Now the extra point try forthcoming. It's good, and that gives the Falcons a 7 to nothing lead. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. It's a short kick, taken at the 15. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. They had the auspicious beginning to the season, a first drive turnover. Now they'll try again here, first and 10. Try to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Completing it here to Marvin Jones. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 11 yards there and a lion first down. But no matter your experience level as a quarterback, you throw an interception on that first drive, maybe a little shaken up. Nice response there to get their first first down. I think you make an excellent point. I don't care who you are. You throw an interception, it's going to get to you a little bit. But the ones that we've seen that are the best, you never notice it. They don't come to the bench, throw their helmets, they don't do any of that. They just go back out the next drive and act like it never happened. And that's what we're seeing here. Up from his linebacker spot, Deion Jones making the play. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. Come off the ball. Come on. Watch tight end. Watch tight end. Tight right. Tight right. Hey, let's go. They stay on the ground. This time it's Johnson. And some space here. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Over 30 yards there. And first downs on three consecutive plays now. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Pilot, 64, weak. Check 99, check 99. go. Two. On the ground, this is Johnson. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Getting the sense, Charles, they're going to put a big emphasis this afternoon on the run game. And why not? What we're seeing so far is working pretty well from them. And here's the best part. We always talk about the best performers do their job when the lights come on. I think he likes natural light best. They'll run for the first time with Johnson. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. Seven yards on the pick up there, and now they've got it first and goal. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. Looking at this now, you got a couple more cracks here. This close, sneak it. I don't think you even go into a huddle. Just line up, snap it, and fall in behind those guys into the end zone. They'll run it with Johnson. And he pushes forward but comes up short of the goal line as he'll get a yard down to about the one. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is a time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory. Check 26, check 26. Ready, ready. They'll try the ground game with Jackson. And he's going to take it in for a Lion touchdown. 
taking it in from a yard out as his guys are on the board here in this first quarter. But they decided to run it in and got it done on third and goal. A lot of times, that's a passing play. And the kicker just has to come out for the PAT. He can breathe a sigh of relief as well, right? Although I don't know if he's really breathing a sigh of relief. I think he likes to put three points on his ledger. Extra point right down the middle. And we are tied at seven. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. They were successful last time finding the end zone on their opening drive of the season. And they'll get another shot here with a first and 10. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield incomplete. But that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have back on their heels. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Call it about a gain of three, and they'll be looking at a third and seven coming up. From the gun, Francis. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football before he knew it. He was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. 12 yards on the return that time. And the Lions will have excellent field position here as they take over first and 10. An update from Buffalo. And the Steelers there out to an early lead. And we'll keep an eye on that one as our game goes along here. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They run on first down with Jackson. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down. A very solid gain on that play. General West. Here we go, here we go. Looking to throw on second down. Stanford. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. These two teams all tied after one. guys who knew how to rush the passer they would just tell you just cover people for me just long enough for me to get there and that's exactly what happened on that play on fourth down here's sam martin on to kick it away and not what he was hoping for there as this will hit in the end zone for a touchback About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Move the ball at least a few times on offense. Get a couple of first downs and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Here we go on second and 12. 
Looking deep for Hilton. He rifles one that's intercepted. Darius Slay with a pick. And his crew will take over at their own 45-yard line. And Brandon, this is a real nice job defensively of getting inside a quarterback's head and figuring out, okay, where is he going with the football? Because you can make an educated guess defensively, not all the time, but sometimes. And when you're right, you've got a decent chance of coming away with the football. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield after a gain of about four. Well, you talked about the need for them to establish the run early. They've been able to do that here in the first half. And that means that the whole offense has adopted that attitude and that persona. We're going to take care of this young quarterback. Let's all get together and run it and take the pressure off. To throw on second down, Stanford. And that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. We do see this a lot from rookie quarterbacks, don't we? They kind of lock in on their intended target. A lot of times they establish that buddy, that guy they depend on. And boy, defense is zero in on it, don't they? A little bit too telegraphed that time, and that's why it's knocked away. Buying time to his left. And incomplete. He had nowhere to throw, so he just tossed it away. But that brings up fourth. So it doesn't look like they're going to be able to build off the turnover. Well, the defense certainly did its part. It got them the football. But you're exactly right. It looks like they're going to have to punt this one away. And it's not a turnover. But doesn't it feel like one after grabbing the momentum with the defensive play? Yeah. And they had all that momentum after getting the football. And now zapped right back in the other direction. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. The drive will start with a carry by Devontae Freeman. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. Something to watch here in week one of the season, tackling. Because you and I both know that in the preseason, a lot of these guys don't play a whole lot. Plus the intensity and the speed really ratchets up on opening week. Line of scrimmage, the 28 now as they come up on second and a couple. This is Freeman. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. Uh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. Back to throw. Francis airing it out, looking for Ridley. And it falls incomplete after almost being intercepted. A pick there would have been great. The good news for the defense now, it's fourth down. Here's Matt Wild now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. Oh, it's a wobbler here. Only 29 yards on the punt there. Definitely not his best. And the Lions will take over. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. Then they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, <laughs> realize it hasn't worked Go to so something well, else. And maybe yeah. try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. On second down, Johnson. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. On first down, Stanford. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 47. So a loss of five, and it'll be second down. So they had the big loss on that first down pass play and facing a second and long. Three down, three down. Hey, 
Hey, box drop, box drop. 51, Mike. Mike 51. Hey, Mike 51, Mike 51. Two second and 15. Now that'll be tipped and intercepted. Picked off around the 41. And to the 40-yard line, that's where the return stops. He was looking for Daniels that time. Second interception for him now here in this first half. And you got to think he's a rookie, Charles. How much does confidence start to become a factor? I think that's a great question because that's what they're going to check on when he gets to the sidelines. The coach is going to check on it. His teammates are going to check on it. Because when you haven't done it before, it's not something that's part of you. you got to see how you're going to react. Let's see how he bounces back. Yeah, because two interceptions for him in college and a half. I mean, that just didn't happen. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute war. Morning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Off play action. Francis. There goes a deep ball. End zone. Second quarter action. 156 remaining. And he's unable to grab it. Thought he might have had position. Couldn't hold on. Third down. We remind you that coming up in two minutes, we'll again head down to visit with Jonathan Coachman in Orlando back for another year. He'll have scores from around the NFL here on this opening weekend. And he's got a man, Calvin Ridley. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 15 yards, first down Atlanta. And the Falcon first down. Here we go, set, 60 Pittsburgh. This is Freeman on first and 10. He finds some open field here. 25 yards to pick up there and also a first down. Coming in, he really liked his chance of having a big year based on a terrific offseason. And runs like that on opening weekend show that he's right. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. And they'll let the fullback try and take him home. And he gets in. Touchdown, Atlanta. Punching it in from a yard away. And the Falcons have taken the lead. And that's why you have the fullback, Charles. Couldn't get it in the play before with a smaller guy. Turned to a little more power. They score it. And now it has to warm the hearts of a lot of old-school football fans. They love when they get to see a little bit of power football. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. It's a short kick, taken at the 15. And they'll have good starting field position as he's up just shy of the 40. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. And now with still more than a minute to go in what's been a tight game, you figure we'll try to see them move the ball downfield. And remember, they get the kickoff to start the second half, so this is a golden opportunity for them to go down there and put up a couple of sixes back-to-back. -back. What a momentum swing that would be. Yeah, you might be able to get a two-for-one without ever even giving up the football. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Get it. Off the play fake. Stanford. This complete to Jones. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons 35. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. On the draw, it's Jackson. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Looking to throw on second down. Stanford. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. 
It is tough to complete pass against zone defenses. The windows that you see open, they shrink pretty rapidly. How about being able to hit a moving target against a zone before the next guy can get there and make a play on the ball? Not easy for any quarterback, no matter the situation. And there, the defense won the battle. From the gun on third down, Stanford. It's caught, Jones. And they move this all the way down to the nine. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. Hey, Orbit. I got him, I got him. Lights 59. Dude. Operating from the gun. Stanford. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. In the end zone. It's second and goal at the nine yard line. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. Get that quarterback, D-Line. Get that quarterback, D-Line. X3, 218, chop it. Come, come. Come. On the draw, here's Jackson. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. And offensively, they'll take the timeout with six seconds left in the second quarter. And they line up now for what will likely be the last play of the first half. That's trash. That's trash. Smith. Check, check. 59, 59. The final shot before Bray. Stanford. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. TJ Hawkinson in the final seconds of the first half. As they are an extra point away now from tying this football game. Extra point splits the uprights. And we've got a tie game here at a back and forth first half. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. An incredibly short kick fielded way up there. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, we'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. First half showed us some pretty good offense. Tie game. We'll see what the second half brings. And it'll be interesting because I think both sides feel pretty good about what their offenses are doing. You got to wonder what adjustments are being made defensively to try and get a spark and maybe slow down the other side. But here, do you change up anything on this opening drive? Not offensively, you don't. You got everything going your way. You've probably prepared for maybe some change-ups you might expect. But overall, you like what your game plan showing you. The throw over the middle, taken in. And all. 37. A big change in field position there. That's 40 yards on the catch and run. I know we love our jobs. And pretty much any play we see, we're pretty you know, excited about. But big plays, let's face it, that's what we absolutely live for. How about that one? That was great. And what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch. They're fired out. That's a big game. Perfectly designed blitz right there. They took that one from the grease board to the field because they were able to free up their linebacker to get into the backfield and spill the play. Hey, lock it. 
Off play action. Francis airing it out, looking for Ridley. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. And now offensively, it's third and ten, and I'm just thinking to myself, actors always say, what's my motivation before a big scene? Right now, the play caller's thinking, what have I done before that's worked well that I can go to right now? Yeah, because they were pretty successful in the first half scoring points. Haven't done anything so far here in the second half. And he's got his man, Hilton. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. And it's going to be another first down as he'll get him to the ground at the Lions 21. They'll run on first down. Freeman. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. But that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short gain. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Freeman again. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. A field goal would get him the lead, but that's not what they're shooting for as they come up on third down. Looking to throw. Francis. And he brings it back to right around the 26-yard line. Well, they thought they were going to break the tie. The defense had other plans. They were already in field goal range, but boom, an interception. I don't know if this was a case of being a little bit too greedy with the opportunity to put points on the board, but give credit to the guys on the defensive side. Hung in there, battled, and made a key play. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. A gain of three, second down. Brings up second and seven at the 28-yard line. Ready, ready, the last ready. run got three. Now here's second and seven. <laughs> they go to Johnson again. And still about three yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup brings it to third down. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. From the gun on third down. Stanford. Open man. He's got him. The tight end, Hawkinson. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. It's fourth down. Here's Sam Martin now as he's on to punt for Detroit. And they'll play keep away from the returner as this one will be marked out of bounds at the 13-yard line. Pretty good spot. About set to begin their next drive, the Falcons' offense at the line. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate, and of course they'd like to forget the inning, the interception, but they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Second and ten. And he will find Ridley. That's complete. And brought down, but not before reaching the 25. It's a gain of 13 and a first down for Atlanta. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works the defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. 
In order for a screen pass to break big, a lot of things have to come together and be well executed. But all it takes is one small thing to go wrong and keep it from being a big game. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Check, check, one, three. Hey, Delta. Five. Second and nine now. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off at about the 31. Well, there definitely was some juice on that pass. And while tight ends don't always have the same reputation for hands as wide receivers do, in this case, that ball was expected to be caught. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Get it. Now a 10th carry for Johnson. He winds up getting only a couple there, down to the 29. Doubling this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate that one alive, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us, and he's like, hey, these pants make me look fat? And we said, nah, man, you're just a whole lot of guy. He is at well over 300 pounds. He's a big man. To throw on second down, Stanford flushed out right. Throws right side, and that's complete. And he's going to be out down inside the 20 at the 15. It's a gain of 14 and a first down for Detroit. First down carry here for Johnson. And he takes this down to about the 12 for a gain of three. Well, praise has to go to the guys on the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game. And while they slowed them down on that run, can they continue to do so? Because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game. And a pickup of about four down inside the 10 to the 8-yard line. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Lions on third down. Three for seven so far in this game. This time it's third and three. They'll try and run for it. Here's Johnson. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. An eight-yard touchdown run. And they are able to break the tie and move out in front here in this fourth quarter. right down the middle and the lead is now 21 14 here's martin now following the score as he'll send this one away and a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. <laughs> All right, guys. You had your fun? All right. Throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Again, they'll run with Freeman. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. 
Well, partner, I guess sometimes it's just a matter of philosophy. Some say run until they absolutely stop you, and others say, well, when you think they're about to stop you, fool them a little bit. I guess they should have tried to fool them on that play. The Falcons on third down, two for five to this point. This is third and nine. Back to throw. And the defense loses him. It's complete. Touchdown, Falcons. Calvin Ridley, 74 yards. As they can now even this game here in the fourth quarter with an extra point. The receivers have been running them ragged. Maybe some tired legs in the secondary. Maybe some tired legs in the pass rush. Didn't get to him. And look what resulted. A touchdown, tie game. They've got a chance to take the lead. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. It's a short kick. Taken at the 15. And a good return. He's across the 35-yard line, right around the 36. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And that last touchdown drive, a good mix of pass and run. Defensively, they just looked a little out of whack. And it's so hard to stay up with an offense that has things going so well where you're guessing and guessing wrong play after play. So what you need is someone on the defensive side of the ball leader, right? to make a big play. Yeah. Throw that balance out of whack. That's what you're looking for now. Not worrying so much about guessing what the play call is. Just week one, but already plenty of intrigue with the games going on. And this one no different as we come up on a first and ten. Here's Jackson. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. But well, we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers of reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. Rock, rock it, rock it. Hey, Charlie. Five. Looking to throw on second down. Stanford. Pressure brought in. Falcons get there for the sack. Grady Jarrett making his presence felt. He gets the sack. Defense went 3-4. They got some push from the inside. And this is something in a 3-4 you don't normally get because the nose tackle who got the sack, he's usually responsible or ends up getting double teamed and sometimes triple teamed. How about him working his way back and putting the big guy on the ground? Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. Good coverage that time by the linebacker, Deion Jones. The defense did their job, fourth quarter, big stand. No doubt about it because the offense has been yelling at them from the sideline, just do us a favor, get us the ball back, give us one more chance to take it downfield. The defense just did them a solid, it appears. And when they get the ball back, they can kind of play free tie game. They're not behind. The field position game, such an overlooked facet, Charles, of an NFL game, but this offense, they're going to be pinned back. What an ideal punt. An ideal punt, and it leads to that term complimentary football because them doing that puts their defense in a great spot, doesn't it? Gives them a chance. If they want to be aggressive, try and maybe get a safety out of this whole thing, it puts them in that position. Some good games going on in the early window. This might be the best of the bunch. They'll run with Freeman here to begin the drive. And he's going to take this up past the 10 to about the 11. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Tough running there. That's a hard-earned four yards. Yeah, those are the unsung kind of runs. They don't fill up the stat sheet, but they do set you up in good position on second down. Under four to go now as the clock runs, and they come up on second down. Now Freeman, he's been busy today. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Here we go, third and one. Gut check time on both sides. Here's Freeman. Freeman a first down and more. And finally, down at the 41-yard line. But sometimes, Brandon, there's just not a secret to how things get done. He's been running well all game long, and they continue to rely on him in this key situation. They told us they were going to rely on him. They have. He comes through there. A big third down conversion. 15, run it. 15, run it. Go, go. Check, 45. Do it. 
On first down, it's Freeman. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. It's a gain of 11, and the Falcons pick up the first. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run, got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. So up through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. A 20th carry now for Freeman. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. And now, defensively, they're going to burn their first time out. Remember, they get an extra time built in coming up here shortly at the two-minute warning. Let's go now. Look at me. Go on. Go on. On second down, Freeman. And they'll get this just to the 47, one-yard gain. And now this defense trying to use the clock to their advantage. They'll take the timeout here with 2.08 left. And then they'll have another stop coming up at the two-minute warning. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. From the gun, Francis. Complete to Hilton. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. And the Lions quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts. So that will leave them with no timeouts left. Still plenty of time on the clock. We'll see how that affects things here in this fourth quarter. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Switch it, switch it, switch it, switch it. Freeman. So it's Falcon football as we welcome you back. They've got a second down now as they search for a score to break this tie. They'll keep it on the ground. Freeman. And a solid run down inside the 30. It looks like a pickup of six. That leaves them with seven yards to go on third down. I like the call there because that was one to take time off the clock and get them closer to getting out of here with a W. In the mind of the play caller, all you want to hear is tick, tick, tick. An eight-play drive to this point. So here's play number nine on third and seven. Now it's Freeman. And he's going to get the first down here as he's taken down at the 22. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Ready? Eight, three. Mike, 45. Watch the run. They're running it. They'll run on first down. It's Freeman. He'll have a first down inside the 10. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Atlanta. Devontae Freeman in the final minute. And they have taken the lead here in the final minute. Extra point right down the middle. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. Here 
The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. One possession game. <laughs> Time very much a factor. How does the offense handle this situation? Well, in a lot of cases, they should be somewhat relaxed. And I know that's counterintuitive because this is a pressure situation. But this is Friday practice every week of the season. You go over this situation, having to go downfield, limited timeouts, got to get out of bounds and keep the drive going and set yourself up defensively you can't just lay back and let them do whatever they want so it is a cat and mouse deal here how much pressure will the defense bring and how much pressure can the offense handle we're gonna find out he's going on it fly and that will be incomplete well they weren't scared to let it fly but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down these are the spots, this stage of the game, where it pays to have speed on the perimeter, doesn't it? It certainly does. And in the second quarter, he may very well have run by him. But in this situation, I know as a defender, I'm loosening up a couple of extra steps that allowed him to run with him stride for stride. Here we go with Johnson. 11 yards there and a line first down. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. They'll look to throw. And that'll be incomplete with 11 seconds remaining now. Here's second and ten now from the 35. You get Rodney. You get Rodney. Hey, Wahoo! Check my 45. Check my 45. Deep rip. Deep rip. Back to throw. And that'll be incomplete with just six seconds left on the clock. To the sideline and incomplete. Brings up third down. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. So time runs out. It's a victory for the Atlanta Falcons. And with that, our journey begins, Charles. Week one in the books. It's going to be a great season. Oh, man, so much to look forward to. Isn't it nice to get a really good game right out of the gate? Preseason behind us. All these games count now, don't they? Yeah, this is the exciting time with just one week gone and plenty of weeks to come. So for the Falcons, it was a hard-fought game, and they'll exit 1-0 as they win by a touchdown. And they'll have another road date next week with the Carolina Panthers. Meanwhile, for Detroit, they go down to defeat here in the opener. And they'll try to get back on track next week as they head up to Orchard Park to take on the Buffalo Bills. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Alongside Charles Davis, we thank our entire crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. This is the NFL on EA Sports.